advance the night away. Is there another fight this way? I want a chest. It's one of those plant face things. The bridge connecting the two banks of the Blackwater had rotted through, forcing the Lyrians to circumnavigate it. The Kraken, Katakrakarnan, who browed the area, knew well of the bridge's conditions, and for this reason, it just right off the beaten path, crouched in the thicket. They'd been waiting a long time, looking their fangs. With their weird faces and their weird plant bat ear things. Hmm. I want that chest. Oh, we're gonna save her in our hand for later, but we're gonna go. You can go. We'll keep you. You can go. You can go. You can go. You can go. Dance for 20 minutes. Okay, well, let's just get rid of it. Curse you, traitors. Dance and dance and dance. Dance and dance and dance. It's 20 dollars. It's, you know, every town, turn, start, train, one random on me. <laughs> Screw you. Bye. Ah! La 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 la. We're gonna be again on the and again go. and again. Drama boy, oh, I live to boy. serve you. Drama boy, drum, drummy boy. Let's go, Mandrake. Nickers, how you doing? Thing about slings, oh. they hide well. Lol. Then we're gonna sling a boy. Bap, bap. Then he should pass. Classic AI boy. That's fine. We'll keep knickers. Did he stay at 12 health? No. I'm sure I'll get them out of my deck. At least have like one. Because I have like a damagey kind of deck. Um, I mean, let's play Drumbo Boy. Army's a waste of time for one like me. <laughs> Got a death wish? Hey, hey, don't toss that. He's perfectly usable. Mandrake. On Pax Boy. Never had your kneecaps broken. I don't want to seize that. Oh, that's gonna be it. You got me thinking. You're also a chairman. Womanizer, womanizer. You're a woman, womanizer. Ha 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 ha. Ooh, let's chuck that one out. Ooh, and end the turn. Ooh. That's unfortunate because he does tend to do to 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 do damage. Let's get you out. Get into work. And the drum boy. Drum boy. Get drum drum drum. Get that. We're the best get regiment this. in the whole flowing north. Look at this. Get that. Hey. And uh, we'll go like this, and we'll smack that, and do the thing, and then we'll wait, and then we'll end the turn. <laughs> we'll go bam, bam, bam. Mm. I'll chuck you out. Water is a poison. Water is a poison. Uh, wait, shouldn't that come back when that thing dies? That's weird. Farm uh, you're a woman, Ooh, 
wound, my nines that wound, my nines that you have. Ha ha! Leave it to us! Let's go. And let's end. That man's evil now, so we'll just burn him to death. Let's go. It's not too late to walk away. It's not too late to walk away. Let's go. Thank you for the monster flesh. Loot this barrel. Barrel? Box? Chest? Okay. We want to throw out those things. We don't want them in our deck. Thank you. Spawn and play two random trinkets. That sounds fun. Let's get rid of the northern winds. I feel like we have too much damage. Like We just don't use it. Now, we wanted to get rid of dwarfs. You? He's alright. It was this one. Okay, so what do we want to replace that? Let's grab another drummer boy, because drummer boy, he, he alright, he alright. Do we want, like, this catapult? Whenever an ally destroy, game one charge. What a damage an enemy by three, charges two. Whenever an ally destroy, game charge. Yeah, or do we want, like, another trinket guy? Two points. I don't think anything's worth two points. No, the dance floor after Nari. Browns of the map. There's that puzzle, and then there's a question mark. And there's loot right here. Okay. Triggering puzzle time. One week. All of it, all it took for the Nilf Guardians to wrest anger from Thmeria. The Black Clads quickly learned, however, that they mustn't rest on their launches, l laurels. Their true enemies were not the Nordlings, who had supposedly ruled the land, but the beasts who dwelled within. It is they who taught the Nilf Guardians early. On, that it's best not to venture too deep into the swamps. Special rules, short and battle, custom deck. It's a damn puzzle. Eliminate all of the plants. Without letting any what? Let me all of them without letting any allies die. Okay. Every turn on turn end, if this unit's power is even, move one row towards the opponent and damage the lowest unit on the battlefield by one. Right, so I'm go. <laughs> move one row and damage the lowest unit on the battlefield by one. Okay. So, one four. So it's gonna take two damage. When they move, they do it. So then we want to go three. Give me a and then we want to boost this by ten. And then we want to go. Your command. Uh, 
on now. I'm a monster. Oh my god. Are you serious? How am I possibly supposed to make the move quicker? Move one right towards the opponent and battle. What the fuck? Abolista, your command. That's dumb. I'm a monster. Oh, I messed up. I don't understand. <laughs> Give me a target. Man. Man. Abolition, Man. you command. Man. I'm a monster. Man. He's gonna die next time. Lyria! One bullet on the feet. That doesn't make any sense. Eliminate all of them without letting any ally side. Every turn, on turn start, if this unit's power is even, move one row towards the enemy and damage the lowest by one. Loyal, damage random enemy by two. I don't have any royal things. Boost an ally by ten. So if I did one this... Goal, I need. Give me a target. Abolista, your command. I'm a warrior. Larry! Oh, I don't have to put them all in the fire. I see. Trigger, trigger. Wait, is that how we want to do it? No. Yeah. Now we go. Abolista, your command. I'm a monster. Attention to the things that are obvious. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Uh, quickly, y'all feel free. So we're learning their language, so we know what orders they're giving. You just order them to take their path. The Lyrians came to a crossroads. As Meve and her scouts conferred about the proper path to take, a footman of a sudden collapsed upon the muddy ground. His comrades strove to rouse him. Alas, to no avail. Meave called for a medic. One arrived post haste. He checked for wounds, a heartbeat, all else for which a medic checks. Then he peered down the soldier's throat. In a flash, he was on his feet, his hand over his mouth, backing away. What's with him? What's wrong? The queen asked, her eyes darting between the medic and his patient. Typhus exanthematicus, your grace, replied the physician, wiping his hands with a spirit-soaked cloth. Typhus fever. Contagious? Extremely, I fear. Though not yet at this stage. The spots are but in his mouth for now. Tomorrow he'll be blotched all over. It's then the disease turns infectious. I see. Oh. What about a cure? Is one known? The medic looked at Meave, shook his head and shrugged. Alas. There was precisely naught he could do. 
But where medicine fails, magic may at times stand in. Without giving it two thoughts, Meave called for Isbel. It's Typhus, I've no doubt. The healer confirmed. I know a spell that could be helpful. Vigil's cleansing, we call it. It takes time to prepare and many ingredients. Rather costly, or... Okay, well that's fine. Coins no object, said Meave. Get to work at once. Isbel returned from the local herbalist with herbs valuable and rare. Fern blossoms, mandrake root, comfrey seeds, and more. She then pulled from her bundle a variety of vessels, funnels, retorts, alembics, carafes. Colored concoctions she then brewed, steam and strange odors rising from them. Hours later, after much effort, she had a few drops of a thick substance in a flask. Isbel whispered an incantation, then gave the remedy to the dying man. His tremors and fever subsided at once, the other symptoms fading within hours. At last, Meave could breathe a deep sigh of relief. Yay! She cured my man. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna assume we can go that way around. Oh, we missed something back there. Anyway. Fine, we'll grab this and go up and around. There. Up and left into this grove. Milady, something made of precious metal shimmers in the floor of the swamp. It could be ancient elves treasure. We could attempt to pull it out, but we must be prepared for the worst. These waters are not the safest. Such are the burdens. Uh, I won't risk my men. I have Barnabas prepared his weapon to fetch the treasure out without risking my men. Yeah, good little gnome god. Oh, I can't go that way. I feel like there is something up there. But, who knows. You done a little too late, a little too wrong. One second lady, I'm just gonna grab this. Oh, one second lady. For no visible reason, the Lyrian column came to a halt. Meave stood in her stirrups in a bid to see the cause. Something had blocked the way, it seemed. Something large. A tree felled by a storm, or an abandoned wagon, the Queen thought. Neither was true. A boulder, huge as a barn, lay in their path. Footmen had slung ropes around it, planted their feet, and now sought to pull it aside. It did not budge an inch. Perhaps I could assist you. Meave turned in her saddle on hearing the voice. Several travelers in faded robes warily crept from the trees. A young woman with long, light-colored hair led the way. You don't much resemble a rock troll, said the queen, eyeing the slender stranger skeptically. But go on, do try. The fair-haired lass crouched beside the stone, closed her eyes, and began to whisper. Horses whinnied and tugged at their reins. A hound howled in the distance. And then, the boulder rolled to the side like an apple across the deck of a boat rocked by seas. Who are you? Do tell. A druid. Came her calm response. This stone. It stood in our circle. The woman silently turned toward the wood. Me followed her gaze, and among the trees saw other large stones, cracked and scorched. What happened here? We refused the Nilfgaardians' aid, answered the druid. So they raised our shrines. Though, perhaps it's a blessing. A blessing? How so? A darkness fell upon Angren a time past, and it grows. The forest turns savage, its creatures drunk on blood. Folk have come to worship other cruel gods. It's time we abandoned this land forsaken and went south to Kedmerkvid. Hmm. Our path leads south too, though not as far, said the queen. Do join us. Given the times, there's safety in numbers. The druids agreed, and were grateful. They walked at the rear of the column, muttering prayers, their faces concealed beneath hoods. Oh. 
This was their circle. Ah, oh, it makes a shortcut. Well, I don't need to do that. Because we're going up here. Ah, oh, but the bridge is. Tis a land of monsters. Belongs to them, it does. Human folk and nout but guests here. Now, but guests, you be human. Okay. Some things in this swamp. Can I help you, sir? Your Majesty, a merchant Val with a name has requested you to hear his plea. His horse has died of some unknown affliction, leaving his wagons and good stock in the swamp. He's prepared to sell his tire stock at a reduced price. He wishes to cut his losses and get out of here as soon as possible. What's your response? Um. Unwise to make the thing you know. Sure. Bye. Get out of here. Some stuff. Let's see how. See how? Uh, me have pricked up her ears through the hum of mosquitoes and croaking frogs. She heard something unexpected. A seeing woman puzzled, the queen followed the voice. She soon stood before the entrance of the cave, a prince visible in the mud. They appeared human, if you don't count the three-inch claws. Remove torrential rain from this row and add a stray slinger card to Mew's hand. Every turn, on turn end, if there is no torrential rain on the row, or this, the row in front of this unit, move to that row and spawn a Lyrian Arbalist. Um, she has to go here. Valyria and Rivia! For the north! Okay. One gold. Okay. Choose and play one or two cards. We want to have one row below. Okay, we want to move one below. Hey. The morrow shall bring a better day. Okay. Give me a target. Then I go. Boop. Move or have one row up. Boop. Ever have a storm knock out one of your teeth? Oh, I've done that in the wrong order. Escape. Pop it. Restart. I think I did it. Okay. Store, knock out one of your teeth. Abolista, you're command. I don't know if I could have actually done it the first time, right? But I did not want to risk it. Risk that extra two seconds. 